Welcome to the Geeks Handbags Anniversary Q&A. Hello and welcome to the Geeks Handbags One Year Anniversary Q&A. I feel like I should have a party popper or at least a cake. Anyway, thank you to everybody that submitted a question. I'm going to try and answer every single one of them. Uh, I've noticed there's a couple of people that have asked the same question, but I really wanted to include everybody, so just go with it. Okay, here is the bag. Let's get the first question. And it is from Deaf to a Dalek. What 60s missing story would you want to recover? Well, you know, this is tough because there's so many episodes I would love to see. I'd love to see part four of the 10th planet, the build up to the regeneration. But if I could only pick one story that I could choose, uh, I think it would be Power of the Daleks. I'd absolutely love to see Patrick Troughton's debut as the Doctor. Um, I've listened to the audio of it and it sounds like a really great, interesting story. So if I could only pick one, I think it would be that. Jake Robertson, what's your favourite piece of Doctor Who merchandise? That is a tough question because they've got a lot of stuff, but I think it's got to be my Giants remote control canine because as a kid I always wanted my own canine and if this little guy had come out when I was young he would have been about the right size. I mean obviously I've uh, got a bit taller uh, over the years, but yeah he's one of my favourites. And the detail on him is good and if you open his little side panel you can switch him on and he lights up. And here's his little control, and you can make him say different things. Relative master. And somewhere in here you can make his little gun fire out. Aidan Koran. Opinions on Enemy of the World, Favourite Second Doctor Story, and Third Doctor 2. Well, now all the episodes are back in the archives and we can enjoy it from start to finish. I have to say I really love Enemy of the World. I think it's possibly one of my favourite Second Doctor stories, actually. Uh, Patrick Troughton is amazing in it, giving two performances in different roles. Uh, I love all the early scenes on the beach. Uh, yeah, I just think it's fantastic. I'm so glad it's finally been returned. But if I had to pick a favourite Second Doctor story, well, that's difficult because I love the war games, I love the invasion. Um, but for slightly sentimental reasons, I'm going to pick The Mind Robber because it was the first Second Doctor story I bought when it was released on VHS, and I've just always loved it. So, yeah, The Mind Robber. Favourite Third Doctor story, well, that is Inferno. Just absolutely amazing. I've always loved this story. It's one of my favourite Doctor Who stories ever, actually. The Kermit Creation. Question number one. If you could write a story of Doctor Who and you had to bring back a monster for the 12th Doctor, which monster would it be? Question two. Which is the most special episode of Doctor Who to you? And question three. What is your favourite Big Finish TARDIS team? Well, if I was writing a story, I'd love to bring back these guys. I love the Sea Devils. Um, I, I'd love to see them in the modern series, uh, as long as they didn't change them too much, because I didn't really like what they did with the Silurians. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see these guys return. They can even keep their little blue vests if they like, but these would be great, and I'd love to write a story for them for New Who. Uh, in terms of a special story or special episode, um, it's going to be Genesis of the Daleks, because I remember buying this on VHS, uh, and I and I love this story. Um, I just think uh, Davros is phenomenal in it. I love the introduction of the character and the whole story. Um, but I, I, I bought it on VHS, and uh, I remember sort of wanting all my friends to watch it, and they were a bit reluctant, you know, at the time, and uh, they watched the first episode, ooh, it's a bit slow, blah, blah, blah. But what I do remember is by the end of it, um, they loved it, and I felt really pleased that I managed to get a few more friends into Doctor Who with this story. So not only is it a great story, uh, it's also quite a special one to me. So I love Genesis of the Daleks. Uh, best Big Finish team. Um, I I've got to agree with you, uh, Kermit Creations. It is, without doubt, the Eighth Doctor and Lucy Miller. They are fantastic on audio and they work brilliantly. Sheridan Smith and Paul McGann are just a fantastic team. So I'm going to say the Eighth Doctor and Lucy Miller. Monarch Flyer, congrats on your one year. Thanks very much. In your opinion, what is the best title sequence of New Who? Well, you know, I haven't really been blown away by any of the title sequences we've had since the show returned in 2005. They've all been fine, but just nothing's been really amazing. Um, so I'm going to pick the latest one because I like the fact it's got a bit more to it. Got the TARDIS in there and the cogs and stuff. So, yeah, I'll go with this one. Bradley Willard. 
Who is your favourite Doctor and what is your favourite story? Well, Tom Baker is my favourite Doctor and my favourite story, oh that's difficult, it does change all the time, but I do love City of Death. Do, 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 do. Oh, I just love it. Whovians Collab. How many Big Finish audios do you own? Favourite companion? Do you prefer Marvel or DC? How many 5-inch Doctor Who figures do you have? Big Finish audios. I reckon I've got about 450 actual CDs um, because I get the downloads free every time I buy the CD and I've got just under 400 downloads in my account and I've got a lot more CDs than I have downloads. So roughly about 450 audios from Big Finish. Uh, Favourite companion? Um, I love Joe Grant, but I think my favourite is Sarah Jane from the classic series. From the new series, Don Noble. I love Don Noble. Um, prefer Marvel or DC? Marvel. How many five-inch figures have I got? Loads. I can't give you an exact figure because I really have got no idea. Um, a lot of mine are in storage, um, but one day I hope to have a room dedicated to all of them and just get them all unboxed on the shelf. Uh, these are some that I've actually just got out of storage, so yeah, quite a lot. Whovian Reviews. Which episode would you say is the best in Series 8? Well, I've just got to the end of Series 8 this weekend, so I've now seen all the episodes. And uh, I think it's been a really strong series, actually. There's only one sort of episode in there that was a bit of a clunker for me. In terms of my favourite, it's a toss-up between Mummy on the Orient Express and Flatline. I thought these were both really good episodes and, and both written by the same person. So I'm going to say Flatline was my favourite because I really liked the Shrinking TARDIS. And uh, I love the bit with the Adams Family hand and where the Doctor thought he'd save the TARDIS and he does a little dance. And there were so many bits in it I liked and I thought it was a really strong story. I thought Jenna was great at it and I thought Peter was great in it. So for me, Flatline was the best of Series 8. William Steele. What, in your opinion, is the most underrated Doctor Who story? And what is the most overrated? Love your channel, by the way. Congratulations. Thanks very much. There's a few, actually. I, I think Day of the Daleks is quite an underrated Dalek story. Um, I've always liked Mordrin Undead. I think that gets uh, overlooked quite a bit, the visitation. Um, but uh, my fellow YouTuber Wesley McCammon recently recommended I give The Time Monster another view because I haven't watched it for a while. And this is a story that gets a bit of stick. Um, but I loved it. And I would say this is probably one of the most underrated stories. It's really good. I mean, the limitations of the budget do show in it because it is quite an adventurous story. But yeah, I would say The Time Monster is quite underrated. As for overrated, well, I'm going to say The Doctor's Wife, because although it's a good story, I've never understood quite what all the big fuss was about it. For me, it was just a good story and nothing amazing. Doctor Who guy, what do you prefer, Daleks or Cybermen? Ooh, tough question, because they're both good, aren't they? But Daleks or Cybermen? Daleks, Cybermen. Daleks. Jacob Serin. What is your least favourite Doctor Who story of all time? Well, you know, even if I don't think a story is particularly good, there's normally something in it that I like when it comes to Doctor Who. But I guess if I had to pick, um, I think from the classic series, it would be Time Flight. Oh, I very rarely watch this one. And from the new series, I've never liked Planet of the Dead. So I'd probably pick those two if I had to. Parachute Walker. How many pieces of Doctor Who merchandise do you have? Congrats, by the way. Thanks. Well, the answer to that is quite a lot. Um, I've been collecting Doctor Who merchandise for quite a long time now, and I love picking up all the new Sonics and all the new figures, and anything new that comes out, I just can't resist buying. Um, I've got a lot of stuff in storage. When we moved house, it had to go up in the loft. There's a lot of stuff behind those boxes you can't even see. And I'll okay, a bit of a mini room tour now. Got, uh, got my Doctor Who scarves there. A couple of new bits. Got the... Uh, New Asylum set for Toys R Us, canines down there, and in the TARDIS, this is crammed full of Doctor Who stuff, figures and all sorts, because uh, I haven't got anywhere else to put it at the moment, so they're being kept safe in there. Got me Doctor Who books, I love buying the Doctor Who books, some um, classic figures there. And of course my remote control Dalek, so yeah, I just need to put up some new shelves so that I can get some more stuff out on display because this is just a fraction really of what I've actually got. Jack Pardy Films, what was your first ever Doctor Who action figure and do you still have it? 
as a kid, I loved K9, and uh, my parents built me one out of a cardboard box, a full-size one. Um, so my first action figure was, of course, one of K9, which they bought me. Uh, he's a little bit worse for wear. Uh, he's lost his tail, poor little thing. But yeah, I've still got him. Robot Dylan. Favourite movie? Favourite TV show other than Doctor Who? And least favourite TV show? Favourite movie? That's difficult, isn't it? So many great films out there. But I'm going to go with the brilliant cult classic with Nail and I, starring Richard E. Grant and Paul McGann. Uh, it's quite an unusual little film, this. Uh, they play two struggling actors, um, but they both give a great performance. It's got so many classic scenes and quotable lines in it. I just absolutely love it with Nail and I. Favourite TV show other than Doctor Who? Well, that one's easy for me. It's Blake Seven. I absolutely love this programme. I watch it over and over again. Brilliant. And least favourite TV show? Well, it's got to be EastEnders, isn't it? I can't stand it. Ethan DJC, congratulations. If you were to play the Doctor, what personality would you have? What costume would you have? And what would your catchphrase be? As a kid, I always dreamed of being the Doctor when I grew up, so if I was to play the part now, I'd like the character to be somewhere between the Fifth Doctor with his kindness and the Seventh Doctor with the mysteriousness, and maybe a pinch of the Fourth Doctor when he's in his tetchy mood. Uh, I'd like him to sort of be quite inventive as well, you know, using loads of gadgets and making things. In terms of the costume, I'd definitely have a long flowing coat because I love my big coats. Uh, I'd probably have a little cravatty thing or something because uh, maybe a scarf like this would be a bit too much now, and he'd probably wear a hat. As for my catchphrase, I think it would be, sorry, moustache. TARDIS or T4RD1 dollar. What kind of music do you like? Who's your favourite rapper, singer, band, DJ? What's the most thing you're proud of in your Doctor Who collection? Which is better? Nike or Adidas? KFC or McDonald's? Doritos or Pringles? PS4 or Xbox One? Favourite music? I love all kinds of music. Uh, I used to work in H&V actually, I'm very passionate about music. But I like loads of different styles, lots of different bands. Um, I don't really have a preference, but one of my favourite artists has always been Prince. Uh, I love Prince, uh, I love Purple Rain the film, and he's incredible live. He's a really great live act. The uh, thing I'm most proud of in my collection is this. When I was nine years old, I met Colin Baker and uh, I appeared in the local newspaper with him that's me there and that's me there that's Colin uh, yeah so I'm really proud of this and uh, I really should get a better frame for it because it is the thing I'm most proud of in my collection um, which is better Nike or Adidas Nike uh, KFC or McDonald's KFC of course uh, Doritos or Pringles Pringles PS4 or Xbox One I'm not really a big gamer but I'll say PS4 the gargantuan apple what is your favourite Doctor Who DVD release in terms of story, special features, etc? Congratulations on the anniversary as well. Thank you. Oh, that's a tough one. Mysterious person behind the gargantuan apple. So many great stories and so many good box sets. But I'm going to go with New Beginnings. Yeah, I'm choosing New Beginnings because I love all three stories in this set. So my earliest memories of Doctor Who come from these stories, including the Melka from The Keeper of Tarkin, the miniature TARDIS and the Watcher from Legopolis, and of course Peter taking over as the new Doctor in Castro Velva. Uh, all three discs have got really good extras on them, including commentaries, and there's a particularly good featurette on Legopolis showing Tom Baker recording his regeneration scene. So this really is a set I wouldn't want to not have in my collection. Owen Salmons. Adam, when did you get the Minion t-shirt? What made you want to join YouTube? Favourite HooTuber and favourite figure? Ah, the Minion t-shirt. Well, my sister bought me this for my birthday, but I don't know where she got it. I think she said she got it from eBay. Um, why did I want to start YouTube? Well, basically, I liked the idea of reviewing all this stuff that I've got, but also I really wanted to connect with fellow fans of Doctor Who and people that like the same sort of programmes as me and talk about all these great films that are out there and, uh, you know, people like yourselves, basically. Um, Favourite YouTuber? Hmm... That would be telling, wouldn't it? No, seriously, there's so many good YouTubers out there, I couldn't possibly narrow it down to one. But I can narrow down my favourite figure, which is, of course, the War Doctor. And look, he's out of his box. Cloister Productions. Seeing as I somewhat focus on this field, favourite title sequence of Classic Who and favourite title sequence of New Who. 
for the classic series it's this one i love that intro that bit there that we never see again uh, i mean this bit gets used a lot in the tom baker years but i love that beginning and this bit with john pertwee's doctor going back there so this is my favorite classic series intro without a doubt i love it uh, as for the new series well i like the new one uh, the series eight peter capaldi opening i'm even starting to like the screechy music tech time lord uk congratulations smiley face Hopefully it will be the first of many years of news, reviews and unboxing. Smiley face. Question. Name your favourite episode of each new Doctor. 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Smiley face. Right, well for the 9th Doctor, I'm going to go for his final two-parter, uh, Bad Wolf and The Parting of the Ways, because I've always really enjoyed uh, that story. Um, and I think Chris and Billy give a great performance in it. So yes, that's my favourite ninth Doctor story. The tenth Doctor is going to be The Waters of Mars. Um, I think it's a really strong story. I think Tennant gives his best performance as the Doctor. So I really like that one. For Matt, oh God, I love Matt's Doctor, but he didn't have many good stories for me. Um, so I'm going to go with the eleventh hour because I think it was a good, strong story. And uh, yeah, I liked Matt's debut. So the eleventh hour for the eleventh Doctor. And for the 12th Doctor, well, the series has just finished, and uh, this is not my favourite episode of it. Uh, my favourite episode is... Ooh, it's tough. Mummy on Earl Express or Flatline. I'm going to go for Flatline. Jack Marshall. What sonic screwdriver is in the glass case to the right of you? It's an officially licensed replica of the 4th Doctor's sonic screwdriver. Uh, it's a numbered limited edition. Mine is number 208 out of 800. Uh, and it comes in this nice tube. We'll just get out and have a look at it. Um, it's made of a sort of, well, it feels like metal. I'm not really sure what it's made of, but yeah, it's a sort of very authentic feeling prop, spring loaded, so it does actually move. And uh, yeah, I like the Gallifreyan symbol inside the tube. So that's what it is. Scaro Mondas Productions. Congrats on one year anniversary. Woohoo! Question one Who would you like to have replaced Moffat as head writer? Question two, favourite box set. Question three, thoughts on the first Doctor and which do you prefer, first or sixth? Well, there's a lot of talk, isn't there, about who should replace Stephen Moffat as head writer. And let's be fair, it's not an easy job to be the producer of Doctor Who. I know Mark Gattis always gets thrown into the equation and I do like Mark Gattis, um, but I haven't really enjoyed his stories that he's delivered for Doctor Who. So... I'm going to discard him. Um, on the strength of the two stories I loved in Series 8, uh, which was Mummy on the Orient Express and Flatline, I'm going to say Jamie Matheson because uh, I just thought they were both really strong and they both encapsulated what I like about Doctor Who. So although he's new and I don't know a lot about him, I'm going to say him. Uh, my favourite box set, well I already said New Beginnings was my favourite set um, because of the classic series, but so I'm going to go with uh, New Who. Uh, my favourite box set would be this one, the first series because I think this is an important box set. Uh, there's so many stories in here that I really like. I thought Chris Trefferson was a good Doctor and I thought Billy was good in this series before she got a bit bratty. Um, there's some good extras on here as well which uh, the BBC actually delivered some good extras when they first started releasing Doctor Who DVD. So yeah this is a good set and it also features um, two of my favourite stories which are The Doctor Dances and The Empty Child because I think they are great. So yeah I'm going to pick that as my favourite box set. As for the first Doctor and the sixth Doctor, well, let's get them in there. Well, the, the first Doctor is underrated, there's no doubt about it. He's a great Doctor and he started it all, you know. Without this guy, we wouldn't have the show we have today. So I love the first Doctor. Colin is a very underrated Doctor. He's fantastic on the Big Finish audios. Um, who's better? They're, they're both great. Listen, they're both great and they're both underrated. Adam, the ultimate Whovian. What motivates you to make a new video for the channel? Any upcoming conventions or events? And why is Tom Baker your favourite Doctor? Well, to be absolutely honest, you guys inspire me to make new videos because I love sharing things with you and I love it when you comment on the Facebook page or on the YouTube videos. You know, if I get a new product or I go to a convention, I just really enjoy making videos about it and putting it out there for you guys to see. Um, Conventions, I'm going to one in a couple of weeks, uh, 23rd of November in Brighton called Timey Wimey. Tom Baker's going to be there, uh, Louise James is going to be there, Sophie Aldrich is going to be there, so I'm really looking forward to that. Why is Tom Baker my favourite doctor? Well, Tom, I mean, he's just got such presence on screen, hasn't he? 
I, I just think he's a brilliant doctor. I, I think Tom Baker is just fantastic. Uh, I mean, he, you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. He's different from one story to the next, totally unpredictable. And I just think he's truly iconic. And Tom Baker was the Doctor for a very long time. And over those years, we got some truly amazing episodes. Some of my favourites ever, actually, like Terror of the Zygons, Sea to Doom, Pyramids of Mars, Brain of Morbius, Talons of Wing Chang. Oh, you could just go on. He's just a fantastic Doctor. The Stuff, 1996. What is your favourite episode of Doctor Who? favorite story how do you choose but i'll tell you one that i absolutely love and that is this the seeds of doom uh, although it's a six-parter it's uh, really well paced it doesn't drag for me in fact the first two episodes are almost like a slightly separate story to the rest of it and i just love it uh, it's got a great villain in it tom and liz are just phenomenal together um yeah i just absolutely love the seeds of doom the host productions how big is your titan vinyl collection and on a scale of brilliant to amazing, how amazing is Colin Baker? Well, you can have a look at my whole Doctor Who Titan figure collection because I've just uploaded a video on it. Um, I've managed to collect quite a few. I haven't got many of the rare figures though. Uh, one of the ones I really want is there's a TARDIS, a Christmas TARDIS with the holly around the door. I'd love to get hold of that. So yeah, check out that video. And uh, all I can say is yes, it's quite a big Titan figure collection. As for Colin Baker, well, the Sixth Doctor himself, he is amazing. He did get a bit of a rough deal when he took over as the Doctor. There's no doubt about it. Um, but he has absolutely shined on the Big Finish audios. And there's no doubt about it. Colin Baker is awesome. Film Buff 06. What are some of your favourite films? What is your favourite Doctor Who monster? And who are some of your favourite friends on YouTube? Favourite films? Okay, well, one film I love is American Beauty. I think it's a really strong script and uh, some great dark humour in there. The Blues Brothers, a great film, uh, really funny, and the soundtrack is amazing in it. Love it, lots of blues. The Elephant Man, based on a true story starring John Hurt. Uh, this film always makes me cry, but it's a great film. This one I've already mentioned, with Nail and I, with Richard E. Grant and Paul McGann, great film. And I think you're going to like this one, film buff. Up, the Disney Pixar film. Again, it always makes me cry. What can I say? I'm a big softie. Favourite Doctor Who monster? Well, I love Davros. I think he's brilliant. Great to see him in the new series, but I just wish he'd been used a bit more. But yeah, I love Davros. And I also like the Candyman. Hmm. Uh, Favourite friends on YouTube? Well, yourself, obviously, film buff. Um, other people I chat to, uh, the host productions, uh, the Who Addicts guys, uh, Tom Dix, uh, Owen Salmons. Scaramondas Productions, um, lots and lots of people, but those just to name but a few. TJ Productions, congratulations Adam on achieving a year on YouTube, thanks very much. His question is, what is your favourite Big Finish audio and why in your entire collection? Tough question, because the output from Big Finish is just phenomenal. There's so many great releases in their range and they do a lot of ranges, you know, not just Doctor Who, Blake 7 as well. And I'm a huge Blake 7 fan. I've absolutely loved uh, their audios that they've done, the Companion Chronicles and the Blake 7 adventures. They've all been brilliant. Um, but if I had to narrow it down to one, well, I'll tell you one of my most treasured releases from Big Finish and that is this one, uh, Tom Baker at 80. Uh, it's basically just Nicholas Briggs and uh, Tom Baker chatting through his career. And it's a really great little release. I mean, you can just put it on and listen to Tom forever. It's brilliant. But if I had to narrow it down to one story, um, it would have to be Dark Eyes. I love Dark Eyes. I was gripped from start to finish with this release. It's brilliant. So yeah, there are lots of great releases in the Big Finish range, but if I had to narrow it down to one, it's gonna be this. Harry Westergaard. What's your favourite episode of Torchwood? What's your favourite Star Trek film? Do you watch Blackadder? What was the first episode of Doctor Who you saw? Which Doctor Who figure is your favourite? Favourite episode of Torchwood? That would be Kiss Kiss Bang Bang because I absolutely love James Masters as Captain John Hart. It's a great episode. Uh, favourite Star Trek film? Well, it's got to be The Wrath of Khan, hasn't it? I just love this film. Brilliant Khan. Um, do I watch Blackadder? Yes, I do. I love Blackadder. Um, I particularly love the second series and the fourth series, and I think the final episode is just perfect. It's beautiful. Um, what was the first episode of Doctor Who I saw? 
Uh, that's difficult because I've got really vague memories of the Melka from the Keeper of Trakin and also um, I seem to vividly remember the Tardis Shrinking and the Gopolis as a very small kid. Um, that could have been from a repeat, I don't know, but those are certainly some of my earliest memories. So possibly as early as Legopolis and Castrovelva, showing my age. Uh, which Doctor Who figure is my favourite? Well, it is the War Doctor figure. I love that figure, but I also just picked up this one. And uh, I was really pleased to get this because I wanted it for ages. So this is now another new favourite. J Arkham Reviews. Congratulations on the upcoming one year anniversary. Thank you very much. What are your favourite classic Who and new Who episodes? Well, I've cherry-picked a couple of my favourites from over the years. And um, first off is the, the War Machine's uh, First Doctor story. I love this. I love the fact that we've got some location work in it. And I just really enjoy that one. Um, Inferno, I guess you already know, is one of my all-time favourite stories. Rewatch that one a lot. Tom's Era, I rewatch all the time. Um, one of my favourites is Terror of the Zygons. The Brain of Morbius, I rewatched recently. That is a great story. I love Philip Maddock in it. Robots of Death is another one that I've watched over and over again, which is just a great story. Uh, Peter's Era I like a lot as well, and I enjoy The Visitation and Earthshock, I think are two particularly good ones. And Sylvester McCoy, I'm a big fan of The Seventh Doctor, and um, I do love Remembrance of the Daleks, so I've watched that a billion times. And I also really rate The Curse of Fenric, I think that is a truly great story. For the new series, Christopher Eccleston had loads of good stories, I think. I uh, liked Father's Day, The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances is a brilliant two-parter. And I really liked his final two episodes, Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways. Once we get into the Tenant era, I've just got to have a look to remind myself. Um, school Reunion's good, Girl in the Fireplace, good. Human Nature of Family of the Blood is a two-parter that I've always really enjoyed. Blink, good. Utopia, brilliant. I love the episode Utopia. Silence in the Library and Forest of the Dead is a two-parter that I've always thought was brilliant. But one of my favourite episodes from the classic, uh, sorry, from the modern series is Turn Left. I thought Catherine Tate gave a great performance in Turn Left. But I'm going to throw one in here from Series 8, uh, which was Mummy on the Orient Express. I loved that episode. Doctor Who guy, will you ever come to Northern Ireland someday? Hmm... Well, I've never been to Northern Ireland and I do like to travel, so yes, one day I shall come to Northern Ireland. Yes, one day. Cyber Leader 1010. Can't wait for this Q&A vid, thanks. My questions are, what is your favourite Doctor Who Titan figure? And also, what Big Finish audios do you recommend the most? Titan figure, well... I actually love this 11th Doctor one because I haven't managed to find many rare Titan figures and uh, I just like him in his little Paul Smith shirt so he's probably my favourite Titan figure I think. Um, big finish, where do you start? So many great stories but just looking through my collection some that spring to mind as being really great stories. First off is Cold It's. This is a 7th Doctor adventure an absolutely brilliant story and it introduces the character of Klein who is absolutely fantastic and uh, that leads on to great things later on in the range so really recommend Cold It's. Spare Parts, I know this is one that's often mentioned and that's because it's a great Cyberman story uh, with the Fifth Doctor, that's a definite must buy. Jubilee, um, this one did inspire the uh, Ninth Doctor story Dalek but it's a great story in its own right so Jubilee with the Sixth Doctor and later on in the range I really love this one another Sideman story but a great story the Silver Turk with Paul McGann all really good and they're from the Big Finish main ranges obviously Paul McGann didn't get much chance to shine as the Doctor on the TV but on audio he's phenomenal and I'm a big fan of the Eighth Doctor adventures which started with Blood of the Daleks. All I would say is they're all really good stories. There's a couple that maybe a little bit below par, but I enjoyed all of them. They did four series of this. Uh, start with Blood of the Daleks, work your way through. They're all great. And uh, he's with Sheridan Smith on these audios playing Lucy Miller, and she's brilliant. So, yeah. They lead up to possibly one of my favourites ever that Big Finish have done so far, which is Dark Eyes. I can't recommend this enough. You don't have to have heard the previous Eighth Doctor adventures, but I would recommend getting them because they lead nicely into this. And Dark Eyes is brilliant. And as many of you know, I'm a huge Blake 7 fan. Big Finish have just started doing these full cast audios, the Blake 7 adventures. And I've got to tell you, I think they are really good. I'm loving them. So yeah, I would recommend picking up some Blake 7 audios. Even if you're not a fan of the show or you don't know much about it, you can still enjoy these because they're great. Danny Brown. 
Right, here are loads of questions. How long have you been watching Doctor Who? Who's your favourite Doctor? If you could be anyone for one whole day, who would it be? What's your fave movie? What's your fave and least fave Doctor Who episode? Do you like pizza? Who's your favourite YouTuber? How much Doctor Who merchandise do you own? How long have I been watching Doctor Who? Like forever. Literally, um, even as a really small child, I can remember sitting down and watching Doctor Who. I can't remember a day when I wasn't watching it. So yeah, literally forever, Danny. Uh, favourite Doctor? It's number four. Tom Baker. Uh, if I could be anyone for a day, who would it be? Spider-Man, because I'd like to do anything a spider can. Uh, favourite movie? Well, that's with Nail and I. Uh, fave and least favourite Doctor Who episode? Favourite? Seeds of Doom. Least favourite? Planet of the Dead. Do I like pizza? Yes, I love it. Um, who's my favourite YouTuber? Uh, I like Ashen, so I think he's really cool. Just a very simple idea of reviewing stuff on the sofa. And I like his voice. Strange. Um, how many dots, how much Doctor Who merchandise do you have? Loads, Danny. I'm going to take the camera from loads. Look at it all. Ooh. And it's all in here. It's all in the tent, waiting to burst out. The Whovian Vortex. Why did you start YouTube? Is there one Doctor Who figure you really want? Who was your first friend on YouTube? Do you go to KFC or McDonald's or neither? Yeah, I started YouTube because I wanted to connect to people and I liked the idea of doing reviews and things like that. But another reason was I wanted a hobby and something away from work and everything else going on in my life. Something that I could sort of channel my creativity in, if you like. Um, some, something that I could enjoy. So that's another reason I started YouTube. Uh, is there a Doctor Who figure I really want? Yes, there is. The Sixth Doctor Regeneration figure. You're expecting someone else? Yes, I've always wanted to get this figure, um, but he sells for quite a lot of money on eBay these days, around 70 or 80 quid, so I've resisted getting him. But uh, yeah, one day I'd like to pick this one up. First friend on YouTube? Gosh, I can't remember. Um, certainly Harry Williams sticks in my mind because uh, he was one of the first people I think I got to know on YouTube and that led on to meeting the Who Annex guys and all the f all fellow hermits. So yeah, probably Harry Williams was one of the first. KFC or McDonald's? KFC. Harsh ass. What is your favourite Doctor Who story in each category? Classic show, new show, novel, audio and comics. Also, what is your favourite story for each incarnation? Fave episodes, well obviously classic series, Seeds of Doom, uh, modern series, I love the Empty Child, The Doctor Dances, uh, novel, check this one out, Engines of War, brilliant book, really recommend that. Favourite audio, well I love Dark Eyes but I'm going to pick The Light at the End, uh, it's a brilliant production by Big Finish starring all the classic Doctors, really like that one. Comics, I've just started getting into the Titan comics and I really like the 12th Doctor ones that they're doing at the moment so I'll pick that one. And so, for a rundown of my favourite stories for each incarnation of the Doctor. So, the first Doctor, my favourite story, is The War Machines. The second Doctor, Enemy of the World. The third Doctor, no surprise here, it's Inferno. The fourth Doctor, The Seeds of Doom. The fifth Doctor, Resurrection of the Daleks. The sixth Doctor, Mark of the Rani. The seventh Doctor, Remembrance of the Daleks. Brilliant. And the Eighth Doctor, I'm going to pick Dark Eyes. This is awesome. So, on to the new series. My favourite episodes for the Ninth Doctor. Obviously, The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. The Tenth Doctor, I love Waters of Mars. The Eleventh Doctor, it's the Eleventh Hour. And the Twelfth Doctor, going to pick Flatline. Epic Who. Nice video. Love Tuddy and Sweep. Thanks. Number one, why did you want to start YouTube? Number two, most memorable thing about being on YouTube this year. Number three, ambitions for next year. And number four, can Sudi and Sweep come back in the future, please? Why did I start the channel? Well, there's two reasons, really. Uh, the first one was that I really wanted to connect with people that liked the same programmes as me, like Doctor Who and Blake Seven and Star Trek, The Prisoner. And I wanted to sort of get into conversations about those programmes. But the other thing that kickstarted the channel was I wanted to buy the original series of Star Trek on Blu-ray and I'd read really bad things about the actual packaging, you know, that it was really bad. So I went on YouTube to try and find a review of it 
so that I could see the packaging before I bought it. Uh, I eventually found one and without being cruel the video wasn't very good and that kind of made me think well I, I could do videos like that you know showing off some of the stuff that I've got and showing you the packaging and saying what's good about it what's bad about it. So sort of those two things combined really made me start the channel. Most memorable moment from this year. I mean, there's been a lot of great moments. It's been one heck of a year. Um, I think meeting Tom Baker and getting him to say hello to the Geeks handbag was pretty special for me. Uh, but really, it's been getting to know all the fellow YouTubers and uh, doing the Google Hangouts as well. Because uh, I hadn't done any Google Hangouts before, so that was a good way to get to know people in different circles. Um, you know, we did uh, host productions, did a couple of Google Hangouts with me. Um, Scar Mondas Productions, Kermit Creations, and of course my fellow hermits. Um, the first Who Alex Reviews hangout I did was pretty good because um, that's when I really got to sort of know people in that group. And uh, I think a particularly memorable highlight from this year has got to be meeting Matthew and James from Who Alex Reviews when I was up in Middlesbrough uh, because I was up there for um, a birthday party because I got lots of family up there. It was a very busy weekend. I really didn't know if I was going to make it happen. So I loved the fact that I actually got to meet these fellow YouTubers. So yeah, that's a particularly memorable moment from this year. Ambitions for next year. Well, one thing I really want to do is I want to visit more Doctor Who locations and more TV locations because I love going out there and doing videos on those. So that's one ambition for next year. Um, but really, it's just to try and get bigger and better, really. Uh, you know, every time you make a video or try something new in a video, you know, it's a big learning process. Uh, so really, I just want to get bigger and better and go onwards and upwards. Sooty and Sweep. Well, no, as much as I do love Sooty and Sweep, I'm afraid we have seen the last of them. And, oh, hello. You are coming back. Yes, we will be seeing more of them. So there you have it, and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video. Thank you once again to everybody that submitted a question. I'm feeling quite exhausted. I think I'm going to go and have a little lie down. But I'll be back very soon with lots more videos for you guys. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.